Hey guys, it's uh, me again. Uh, going to do attempt to do my second film review, and I gotta warn you, this one is a, a, a pretty extreme film. That's uh, not gonna be one I can recommend to too many people. Uh, but it's one I've been curious about for a couple of years now. Uh, I've been hearing about it floating around. Uh, there's been a few bootlegs of this floating around. But anyway, I uh, just arrived in the mail uh, yesterday. Um, I had a chance to watch it when I got out of work today and decided, because I like to review a movie when it's still fresh in my mind, that I put it up there. Uh, it's an Argentinian film. It's called Snuff 102. Uh, it's extremely graphic, so again, for people who aren't into that kind of thing, I would steer clear of this entirely. Um, this is the Massacre video release. It's a two-disc special edition. Uh, it's a film by Mariano Peralta. Again, it's from Argentina. I'm not sure if he has done many other films, but it's, you know, you get the one here, the disc with the film, and then the bonus features on the second one. Well, the basic premise of this is, is you have this, uh, this young gal who's a, uh, a, uh, journalist for some sort of a newspaper, I'm guessing. Again, you don't None of the characters really have names in this film, so, I mean, you don't really know. Well, anyway, she tells her boss, because she's watching the news while she's having morning coffee, and she's seeing these uh, news reports of all of these mutilated female bodies, and, um, you know, is intrigued by this. So she ends up... Uh, you know, telling her boss she wants to investigate, you know, what the heck is going on here. And so she starts doing, you know, research online into the, uh, you know, the more extreme sites, you know, bondage stuff and bestiality and the pseudo-rape, you know, sites and things of this sort. Um, and I do have to warn everybody, there is a couple of scenes of actual animal violence um, in this film. One involves a monkey, one involves a pig. I won't really elaborate on it, but just be aware it's in there. Um, so anyway, she finds out, I'm a guessing, this is kind of, it's unclear, it is subtitled, but it is an Argentinian film. Uh, about this guy, and she decides she wants to interview this, uh, this guy who kind of claims to be this expert on violent videos and, you know, how it relates to society, and, and it's actually, this is a very clever film if you can get past the extremely brutal, uh, violence and so on in it. There is some, some, uh, sort of, uh, Social. Uh, sorry, guys, it's real early in the morning. I just come off a 12 hour shift. Uh, there's some social relevance. It's, it's a pretty thought provoking film on levels besides just extreme gore and violence. Put it that way. But anyway, um, the film is kind of done in an interesting style. The interview which is kind of half of the film, is done in black and white. And the uh, torture, and it's pretty extreme, and it's pretty plentiful in this film, is shot in color, but it's sort of done in the... Uh, if anyone's seen August, uh, the first August Underground film, sort of in that style, you know, very grainy, very raw footage. Um, you know, intentionally so, I think, and it, it does add to the sort of slimy, nasty, sort of underground sort of elements of this film. 
Uh, but basically what you get is, is excerpts of her having this interview with this guy. And then you see shots of her in her underwear tied to a chain and two other ladies. What you find out is they intercut to some very brief backstory on the other two women. One of them is a pregnant woman who's hooked on cocaine. And, uh, you know, her boyfriend ends up telling her, hey, you know, we're, we're broke, we need the money. I got this guy, you go see this guy, he pays a lot of money, but you gotta do everything he says. And so, she, obviously, he sends her to this psychotic killer guy. So this pregnant gal is one of them that's tied up in this room. And then the other one is this prostitute who is, uh, sorry about that guys, who is um, hooked on uh, uh, cocaine as well, who uh, talks to her pimp and says, you know, I need some way to make a quick buck and he didn't have any clients for her at that point, but he says, well, I got this guy I can talk to, and needless to say, so these are the other two gals that are tied up. The three of them are in this room. And basically, as the interview goes on, it's just stuff, you know, it gets a little haughty toddy on some level, this guy, you know, going on and on about, you know, the haves and the have-nots and this and that. But interspersed with that, they go back to this killer, he's in a black ski mask, he's dressed completely in black. Well, he's, you know, torturing this, this pregnant woman. I'm going to have to rush through this, guys, it's getting long. But the bottom line is he, he uh, ends up just punching her in the face. I, I couldn't tell you how many, 20 times? I don't know, messes her up bad. He unties her, he throws her on the floor on her back, he sticks a, a plastic bag over her head, and then he just uh, starts kicking her in the head. I'm probably missing some stuff, but it, it's nasty. He takes out these shears, he starts cutting her fingers off, and then this one was cringe inducing for me. He starts kicking her, stomping her in the stomach again and again. I warned you guys, this is going to be a nasty one. And then of course he kind of finishes her off. He starts stomping on her head again and again, multiple, you know, a lot of blood. You know, you get the idea. Well then he goes over and he pops out the video cassette and he writes 100 on when he drags her out of the what out of the room, what have you. Well then he goes after the second gal, which is the prostitute gal. And like I say, just tortures the living crap out of her. He ends up coming up, grabbing her by the head, he rips one of her eyes completely out, and I'm kind of goofy on eyes, so you know. That was a pretty, pretty nasty scene. You know, and anyway, again, he just, you know, beats the crap out of her, smashes her over the head with a hammer. And anyway, he throws her on the ground, and he, then he proceeds to rape her. Well, then he starts dismembering her. Um, well, during the course of this, anyway, the, the uh, journalist gal ends up finding a piece of glass on the floor and she ends up kicking it over to herself, unties herself from the chair, and she ends up taking off, and basically this guy comes after her. And I'm going to leave it there for anybody that's brave enough to try and watch this movie so you can find out if she ends up getting away or if she becomes a victim. Obviously, after the second victim gets killed, he puts 101 on the tape, and of course her tape was going to be 102, hence the title Snuff 102. Uh, let's just say it has a very grisly and very 
exciting conclusion, frankly. It was not what I expected how it was going to end. But anyway, this has been a bit of a rambling review, uh, so I'm sorry about that, guys. The cat was acting up, and, you know, so I, I apologize about that. But anyway, my thoughts on the movie is this is getting quite long. Um, I can't really recommend this to too many people because it is extremely graphic. I've seen a lot of very disturbing, very sick kind of movies, and this is right up there. This is one of the worst. Um, as far as the acting goes, it's it's fine. There's, there's not very much dialogue in this film whatsoever. Um, you know, like I said, I actually found it to have a, a really interesting kind of secondary story. Uh, so that was really good. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of meaning to it. It wasn't just senseless violence for the sake of violence, which is what I thought I was getting into. There is a deeper meaning, and I appreciated that. Um, but like I say, it is very grisly. It is very, very graphic. One of the most... Uh, for those that have seen the August Underground films, I thought this was much much more extreme than that was as far as the violence is concerned and the gore and stuff. Um, but anyway, for those kind of people that, that can handle this sort of thing, I would say it's a must own for your collection. Um, absolutely, uh, go see it. For those that are not into extreme cinema or can handle really uh, realistic and really intense violence and so on. Don't watch this. If you're super sensitive to animal violence, please don't watch this film. But anyway, just one last look, guys, because I'm up over 12 minutes now on this one. I didn't think it was going to take so long. Uh, the film is Snuff 102. Like I say, I think I may post a warning just because it, it, it's pretty graphic stuff, guys, but like I say, I'm going to try and mix it up with my reviews. It isn't all going to be extreme stuff. It isn't all. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So, sorry this kind of rambled a bit, guys, and it got awful long. I had the issue with my rambunctious cat. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you later.